Well, it's the third time, but it, it's, um, it seems like doing a different character each time in a way. The first film uh, was sort of normal scientist and then the second film uh most of the film i was possessed or i had uh tom hiddleston in my brain so i could do anything and it, i could blame everything on him and in this film i'm sort of kind of post-traumatic stress or something but i uh, i suffer the the consequences of having had a god in my head and i'm uh, trying to medicate it away my own way and it uh, turns out that my medication is maybe not the best one When we started that film, the world was normal to him, and there were no visits from gods from other realms. But uh, he's seen a lot since. I mean, he's, he was in Avengers, where a lot happened to So I think he's ready to, to see anything now. It's great seeing them. I mean, it's my third film with Natalie, and, and, and I spent so much time together with Kat and Natalie in a very small car in Santa Fe when we did the first film. I, I became one of the girls, and I heard things no man has ever heard <laughs> before. So it's really nice teaming up with them again. Uh, it's a good bunch of actors, and uh, we're having a lot of fun. Well, he's a very experienced director, and he's, he's done a lot of work with, with uh, not only television like Sopranos, but also Game of Thrones and more uh, sort of heightened reality uh, material. But his quality is, is like with all directors that are good, he he's interested in making sure that the characters come alive in front of the camera, and he's good at that. Well, one of the reasons for the success of the Marvel films is that they they do bring in very good actors and good directors, and they they make sure that all the characters are multidimensional, alive, and uh, and the audience can uh, can uh, identify with them. It's uh, it, you you can of course build a film only on special effects and fantastic visuals, but it's it's really not enough. Uh, you want a human experience as well.